What's up guys, it's Fatern, and we've got some gameplay here on Slums, which is one of my favorite maps. I really like this, except uh, today we're going to be talking about Treyarch's map design and why it's ruining Call of Duty, and why it's ruining this game. I'm trying to think about other maps from Black Ops real quick and see if they uh, have basically suffered the same fate, but... What I'm talking about is the, I'm going to call it the triangle map design, or basically the just not straight down the line design. And what I mean by that is, in most maps in this game, the maps are in a straight line. And if you think about it, you will know that it makes sense. If you start on one side of the map, like we just did, uh, we started on the A side for domination. You run in the middle, there's a B flag in the domination, and on the other side, there's a C flag for domination. This is true for almost uh, like half the maps. Uh, Aftermath, which is the downtown LA map. Hijacked, which is the uh, map on the ship. Raid is kind of close. It's a little more triangularly with B out in the middle in the open. Uh, a on the uh, out in the grass and C next to the cars in the glass enclosure. Um, I'm trying to think. What are the other maps out here? Uh, Plaza is very similar to the other map. The uh, uh, kind of like to raid where you're in your back, but then you kind of go into the middle a little bit, and it's like a triangle formation. But anyways, most of the maps are this kind of just like straight down line, um, and it really makes the gameplay kind of annoying, simply because people aren't really worried about who's coming from behind them. They're just basically worried about who's in front of them. And without the spawns flipping, it's kind of making it a pain in the ass. So don't get me wrong, I love the spawn system. I love the way the game flows for the most part. And it's always going to be the players that end up ruining a game. That's that's all there is to it. It's never, oh man, like Treyarch ruined the game. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 was pretty awesome in terms of like what was in there until, you know, the players got to it. And once people started realizing, you know, that death streaks are cool, and, you know, one man army, dead man, or not dead man's hands, but one man army was cool, and noob tubes are cool, and danger close was cool, it was a wrap. The game was over. So, yes, it is the developer's fault, but, you know, you gotta blame the people who play it too, because they're the ones that are turning into a terrible game. And Black Ops 2 was in a lot different. I mean,. There's some things that need to be changed, uh, like every game, it's never going to be perfectly balanced, but my complaints in this game so far have been probably one of the least in terms of like actual complaints. I think that um, shotguns need to be toned down a little bit, or just shotguns need to be gotten rid of in general. Um, there's too much lag in a game where you get like one shot kills from a weapon that has a pretty decent spread range. I think maybe they just need to tone down the damage on that gun or something because I get so many streaks ruined by a guy who just has a shotgun and it's not even a gunfight and it's kind of annoying on maps like Hijack because then you literally are forced to camp. You're forced to camp. But anyways, we're not talking about that. Again, we're talking about map design and what needs to change. I'm really hoping that in the DLC they make more triangular maps. Think of two maps in Modern Warfare 3. Think of Fallen, uh, with the outside map where there's like uh, the B flag over there, and there's like a stat or there's a tank next to the A flag, uh, right? Yeah, next to the A flag. And then think of Hard Hat, the one where there's like the tunnels and blah. There's, there's tons of places to camp in those maps. There's tons of places to camp in every map. This map, not so much. Usually, it's in this building over here, in these stairs in the middle. But that's a sign of Black Ops 2, is the camping in the middle syndrome. Camping in the middle. In Modern Warfare 3, yeah, you could camp a little bit, and the spawns were a little hectic, but the thing was, triangular maps don't allow you to camp as hard. Uh, like, in Hard Hat and Fallen, if the team had, say, two flags, you could circle around them on one of the two sides. It was really hard to kind of watch all the sides, all the angles, to get every enemy that's coming at you. It's very hard to do that, simply because, you know, you're in that sort of triangle, you have to kind of watch an entire like third of the map um, from all angles so it was very it made it very hard to capture flags um, and capture all three flags but it made it very hard to basically spawn trap unless you did like legitimate spawn trapping but in Black Ops 2 the map design is like a straight line so like this map here uh, this on this side is where the A flag is like, no the C flag so you cap the C flag and you could cap the B flag and once you cap the B flag you really only have to camp out like right here like you can camp out that entire B flag from that side you can camp out this side and camp out this well and then you can camp out the right side and camp out their building really it's not that hard to spawn trap in 
you know, Black Ops 2 uh, without the actual spawn trapping that we're used to where people just get like a thousand kills. But it's really easy to just kind of sit there and deny the other team anything. You can do it on Hijack, you can do it on Aftermath, you can do it on Meltdown. Um, it's really just kind of disappointing that that's the style they went with. And uh, I, I don't know, it just... I wish they could have done a little more. I hope the DLC is more, like, rounded out. It it would make my life so much better, and I think it would just extend the life of this game and make it that much more awesome, because I'm... Uh, don't get me wrong, I love this game, but it, the map design has really forced me to play Kill Confirmed, and, that, and that's the main reason why, is because the lack of camping, because you're always flipping spawns, and people have to come out and get tags, and they can't just camp in a corner to get their weak kills, because they're never, never, ever, ever 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 gonna get a streak so the game is wrapping up um, let me know if you agree with me on my map design theories or if you thought about them because I think they're pretty true again just take a look at most of the maps they're kind of straight up and down uh, there's not a lot of variance then yes there are outside lanes there's a lot of underground tunnels and stuff to go upstairs but they're pretty much straightforward and uh, I think that hurts the gameplay in general anyways my final score is like 49 and 8 or something stupid it's fat earned leave a like a comment subscribe if you'd like and I will talk to you guys soon peace